let's take it right back to the start of the competition. And how was the experience for you personally being on the show? It was fun. It was fabulous. It was like years in the making. So it was so exciting to be part of that. Um, you know, I've been championing for Australian drag for so many years and trying to bring an international spotlight on it. And it's finally happened. So it was so great to be part of that. Um, just so excited. Mm. And talk to me about how you started Drag Girl and what drag gives to you as an artist. Let's take it right back because I'm quite interested to hear about this. Yeah, well, I started drag uh, during high school and I, I came into drag through the world of makeup because I didn't like who I was as a teenager. Um, and having the power to take makeup and transform myself into someone different was really exciting to me and really um, uh, invigorating. Um, so, you know, I was really obsessed with horror movies and scary things. So that was my gateway into allowing my mum to, well, my mum allowing me to like buy makeup. I was like, mum, I really need this all on up for my skull I'm going to do. Um, but meanwhile, I'm putting on like big cat eyes and be like, oh. Um, so it came through makeup and transformation and then the performance aspect came later on. So that's kind of where I kicked off. Yeah. And is, is what we see in the show or like a real, like a, a true and realistic portrayal of what it's like to be in the competition as well. In regards to what? Like um, just in general? Just in general, like, I think. Yeah. Yeah. What well, was the, it's cutthroat. It's cutthroat. It's intense. It's, it's long, like long days. It's, 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 it's a drag and it's really, really difficult. Um, so I think that's very much portrayed across, across the show. Um, Everything is very real and raw and stressful. So I think, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, should we talk about Snatch Game as well? What what oh. you, drew you towards Indy Owen as well as a, as a character to, 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 to trying to get my words out this morning to portray? Yeah, well, I chose Bindi because I wanted to use Bindi as a vessel um, rather than an impersonation. And that's something that Ruby said many times before that he enjoys. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to use the facade of Bindi Irwin to use the humour of Steve Irwin and my own humour within Australian culture and, and idioms um, to do my Snatch Game character. So that's where she came from. Um, I was like, oh, I could do Steve Irwin, but I refused to do someone like Steve. Like, I didn't want to even touch that because I, I didn't want to be disrespectful because he's, a, he's an icon. So he's a legend. Um, so that's where she came from. Um, it was the perfect way for me to bridge my humour with the challenge that is Snatch Game. Well, at least that was the intention. Yeah. I thought it was fabulous myself anyway. So just wanted to... Well, they cut out my good joke. I, I remember being on the, uh, the panel um, being like, oh, really? You know, I feel right at home surrounded by all these animals. You know, over here, we've got a mole, a mole, a mole, a mole. This here is a dog and she's a snake. They yeah. come in there. I really like that. So, like, that's, that's the kind of, like, tone that I was on the day. Um, so, it's funny watching it back with, like, music behind it. And doo -doo 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 -doo. I was like, okay, then. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, um, I mean, Australian drag is so, so big and it's so bold and it's quite brash as well. What do you think sets Australian drag apart from our drag around the world? Australian drag, like drag is ingrained in our culture, um, especially like Priscilla. Um, and we are bold, we are colourful, we are resourceful. We're all, like, it's not about the aesthetic with us in terms of like having the most expensive outfit. It's about being the most creative and colourful. And we have a whole level of camp and we're all just a pack of larrikins. We just like to have fun. We, we like, there's no filter with us and none of it is meant in a nasty way. And I think the, the drag race audience has been trained to think that like, if you're saying something sassy, you're being mean. But in our world, it's like, that's a form of love. Like if you call someone a C word, it's like endearing, it's a, it's a positive thing. Um, and I don't think people realize too, we all knew each other. Like when we walked into the room, we like I'd worked with all these girls before. The only one I hadn't worked with, but I knew of her, which was Electra. We'd all work with each other. So that's why like, from the beginning, we're like, nah, 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 like, like, like throwing shit at each other. And I think it's the world first, uh, world first where all these girls know each other. So it's like looking into a drag dressing room. This is what we're like in the dressing room being like, yeah, you look like a piece of shit. She's like, yeah, well, you're a cow. Like, it's just like, <laughs> it's fun. And um, I think 
audiences have been trained to think that that's mean and that we mean all of it. It's like, no, we're just like, that's love. Um, so we're, we're definitely a different flavor, a different taste, but I'm so excited for the world to learn and, and get to know all of them. Mm. And one of the biggest things about RuPaul and the franchise is that it kind of, it makes it very visible kind of community and drag that hasn't been quite visible beforehand. And, and as, cause you are a role model, you're, you're iconic. Like, let's just put it right down there. What would be your advice to young Queens and young queers that are just coming up as well and might not be feeling so comfortable in themselves and, and are looking towards this show for role models and, and the rest of it? Yeah. Well, drag race is a great job of spotlighting the journey that a lot of drag, like a lot of drag Queens, we're all a bit messed up. We've all gone through a lot of stuff and, and mm. we use our skills as dra drag queens to uplift other people and bring them joy. Um, and I think it also, the show shows that we're human as well because it's so easy to watch the persona of a drag queen on stage or wherever. But it, it, it's a great job of like peeling back the layers and being like, these people are just like you. So if they can do it, you can do it. And I think that's a great thing to take away from it. Um, drag and for a lot of the people I know is about, you know, finding your community, finding a chosen family, finding like-minded individuals and knowing that there's people out there like you. And I think that's really wonderful. And I think, I think the show does show that. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of love around drag and, and the community that loves it. Mm -hmm. So what's next for you now? Oh, I've been working on my one woman show called oh, Art yes, Therapy, where I, work through my trauma uh with you live on stage um but due to COVID restrictions it's a one woman show for one woman at a time at the moment but you know hoping soon we can get to at least 10 maybe 100 that'd be good um and I didn't have time to write a book but so I'm releasing and I can't read but I'm releasing um a book cover which you can just put around another book and put it on your shelf. So it looks like I wrote something and no one reads the books anyway. So I think, you know, we cut out the middleman, forget about the publisher. Here's my book cover. It'll look beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any uh, last words uh, for us today, Art, at all? Um, besides that means nothing, um, I would like to... <laughs> 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 which apparently I'm going to go to the grave with, but that's camp, isn't it? Um, uh, no, just, I, I, I love drag and I hope that came across. Like, I love drag so much. I love Australian drag. I will always love Australian drag. Drag is my life. Drag is my passion. And I love championing our drag. And I've been trying so long to bring a spotlight to it. I'm so glad it's finally happening. And I just want the world to love and accept and have open arms and open eyes when they're, getting to know these queens because they're special talented really great individuals so sit back and watch and enjoy wonderful well thank you so much for your time this morning it's been fabulous to have a chat with you today thanks for having me bye